Hello everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Bioshock. In the last time we played, we went through Fort Frolic, and bees, basically, that's, that's pretty much sums up the entire last session. There were a lot of bees, and it was frolicking. Now we're gonna continue through this place, which, uh, it's probably gonna have more bees in it, let's be honest. Worked pretty well last time. Watch yourself. We bust kept on it. It's time to either run the table or go home empty. Ryan's got the genetic key to Rapture. We get that from him and we get out of this hellhole. We don't, then you and I are ghosts. Now, would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? It's time to finish this. Alright, that sounds good. I don't really like being a ghost. So, I think. Dude. I see Cohen's lost his touch, if you knew him when. When he used to believe in the work, in the struggle. And now, he rots in that Neverland, waiting for someone to come and tell him he still got it. I suppose that's why he let you live. Thanks, Andrew, for your nice message. At least there's a news vendor. Though it seems somewhat ineffective due to the fact that I cannot interact with the news. But still, news vendor. What's over here? Uh, well, this this all seems a bit pointless. So, let's grab our trusty... Uh, hmm, I don't know what weapon I want to use, honestly. I think I'll go with this one. It's, uh, it's all faithful. And this never done me any wrong. Hmm. Well, this sounds about as ominous as it gets. The fastest. That's where we're going today. Will I be able to go both ways? Yeah, this, uh, this is a circle. Alright, we're going in a circle. I'll get that in a second. I actually, I'll probably forget about it entirely, but if... If I were the kind of person that would remember things, I will get that in a second. You making nasty noises, sir. Let's take some pictures. What are you? What kind of person are you? Houdini? Well, I'm dealing more damage to you now. And apparently my subject research is complete. So how about that, eh? How about that? Uh... You don't seem Houdini enough to me. You seem kind of thuggish. More damage. Man, I'm gonna run out of pictures to take at this rate. Which is fantastic. Showcasing cool. Dallas, cool. This is what I needed. Probably didn't need that so much, but sometimes a little bit of extra fire is all we ever need in this society of ours. Cigarettes, no thank you. Let's go the entire circle to make sure we haven't missed any very important deets to this particular crime scene. And indeed, it seems that we have missed a nothing. So we can continue to Hephaestus knock over that thing without even touching it seemingly and Who's there? Ryan Industries And a big old corridor Filled with death Although Mostly an invisible wall stopping me from reaching death But there's some deaths right there. I mean there's water and uh, Water seems to be death in this game you can taste it, can't you? Andrew Ryan. <laughs> Why is this? Is he a Pokemon? That'd be great. I observe all his commandments. I observe all his commandments. I observe. What? What? Who are you? Leadhead? Oh no. You're gonna shoot me with a gun? I don't know. Got. You, no. You, you're not gonna do that. See? You're not gonna do that. That cost me a lot of rounds right there. You'd better be worthwhile. You'd better be like the final boss of this place, otherwise that was a waste. Chemical thrower. Nothing. I should use this thing more often. I never really use this thing very much. And it's about time. We give this the proper treatment. It's time to electrocute some... dirt bags. I wonder if I could electrocute that thing. And then hack it. Uh... Or just destroy it really, really quickly with this thing. Well, I guess that works. 
Wasn't actually aware this thing was that powerful against machines, but apparently it is. I mean, it did imply that it was weak to electricity when I took a bunch of pictures of it, but... Who knows what that means these days, right? I'll listen to that in a second. Frag grenade. I find that more interesting. This looks dangerous. I probably shouldn't be touching this. But I did it anyway, because I'm living on the edge. Check of the values. I have a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want those anti-personnel rounds, so uh, there we go. Let's uh, use that lot of money for good use. You are going up. I believe that is the way to go. And apparently it is, so that was a good call. <laughs> uh, do I have more left? Oh god, what's this? Is this one that goes quicker, I guess? I assume that's what that means. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Left, and then back up again, and to the right. Alright, cool. Pew! That almost became scary. So far, I'm lucky though. Alright, anniversary uh, round. So, uh, I have most of those left. Oh, those cost one dollar. Might as well just buy one more of those. There we go. That's Welcome. filled me up. Good. And uh, now we're all fishing and ready to go. Gotta love hacking. If you don't love hacking, this is not the game for you. Put away your tool. A place for everything and everything in its place. That's such a nice thing to say. I lost money. Uh, well, looks like we're ready to go. Is this place by any chance really, really small? Uh, no. Well, yeah. I, oh god, no. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, the staircase has always confused me. There's no way I can just go here and be like, well, that's that over with. It is no way it's gonna be that easy. I think I hear a machine. Also, I still haven't listened to that audio tape, I guess. Ryan, nationalized Fontaine Futuristics. He owns it now, lock, stock, and barrel. For the good of the city, he says. He'll break it up in due time, he says. I've resigned from the council and lodged me letter of protest, but that's just pissing in the wind. It'll be war, I say, unless somebody stops Ryan and right fast. And right fast. That McDonough is not living a happy life for any of his audiobooks. And I find that kind of unfortunate because he seems like a jolly enough guy. And even though this says Office of Andrew Ryan, I don't trust it. I also don't trust the Zeta Chamber, but now it's all glowy, so I trust it again. Potato chips. Old, old harb Harbinger Bear. That's too fancy for me. Come to the circus of values! Um... I don't think I'll buy that hack tool. That's actually a really expensive hacking tool. Probably shouldn't even have bought those, uh... First aid kits, but oh well. Anyway, I'm going back to that corner because it seems to be nice and quiet over here. I spent the afternoon trying to get as close to Ryan's gate as possible without making a spectacle of myself. He's got a chair at six ways to Leicester. There's no way into that place. All I got for my trouble was the hairy eyeball from Ryan Splicer Mates. Oh, that's the reward you get for trying to outsmart the best electrical engineer of our generation. Not entirely sure what a hairy eyeball is, but I'm just gonna let my imagination run its course on that one. Oh, present. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> huh? 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 Well, she seems happy, and it's a female splicer. And splices have always been a good deal of fun. So it's obviously gonna be great. Grenade launch? Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> I hear you laughing. I don't appreciate it. Where's that laughing coming from? What is this? Quartered can of ionic gel. Oh, okay then. We're going back to this mountain jammer. We're not gonna get spotted by that camera. That camera's our friend now. Uh, our friend. No, there we go. Hang on to the camera. 
Go down at some point. There we go. Go. Man, all these are going to the right. I need them to go to the left. There we go. This is harder than it looks, you see. I just want to go left. That's all I want. But no. It's never that easy. Never that good. Until you open all of them and you find like six of them and don't notice it until you're nearly done with the puzzle, but you know. It's mostly just me opening and closing my mouth so much that I'm not really paying close attention to the puzzle itself anymore. That's really my main issue, honestly. Um... I don't think I even want the bloodless, so I don't have the bees for it. I never have the bees for anything these days. Oh, but I can make some... Hmm, I can't really make anything, honestly. I don't have the things. How full am I on trap bolts? Is there a way to see how many bolts I have? I have 16 trap bolts, so that's probably about maximum, I imagine. Ah. I probably don't need any of this, honestly, but... No, oh. no, no, no. Stop. How do I stop? And, well, I guess we're listening to that again. Okay. Hack it. There's no way into that place. I mean, I wonder if hairy eyeball is some weird euphemism in the English language I'm just not aware of. Because there's a lot of those. English is a weird language. It goes everywhere and then somehow it means everything simultaneously. And it confuses me, you know? I get confused about the English language. Quite frankly, I can make this thing make sounds. That's weird. I, I don't know if I'll need to have that thing make sounds ever, but it's a thing I can do. And that's good. I have the option to make noise. That'll help me in the long run, you see. I'm gonna electrocute someone. It's a regular convention of worms in here. They all had mothers, fathers, people who loved them. They got married, got their wives. What makes you think you're any different? I haven't chosen the spot for you on the wall yet. Let me know if you have a preference. I prefer an empty spot. I mean, there's one right there. But in case you haven't noticed, there's one major difference between me, me and the Goonies you've killed so far. That difference... That difference will soon become obvious to you, Mr. Ryan. When you and I meet, I'm going to show you the real differences between... Whoa, that looks weird. I like instantly teleport down again. What is that all about? Why is that happening? I don't know. I'm just trying to have a good time. Cigarettes. Hypos. For one, when I die, I'm not planning to drop a single typo in four dollars. I'm gonna drop four hundred dollars for people to pick up. Stop and Ryan. Jesus loves me. I don't know if killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war. But I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan. But I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one to save the other, so be it. You know, do you think that when that McDonough inevitably died, all the splices were like, all right, everyone take one of his audiobooks. Do you have a lot? And I don't want everyone to know all the information, so if we all just take one along, that's for best. I had to go jungle style on that filthy ape for three weeks, but he finally spilled the beans on how to get to Andrew Ryan. Generate a sympathetic overload in harmonic chord number three. That simple. Now all I gotta do is figure out what the hell a sympathetic overload is, and for that matter, a harmonic chord number three. Piece of cake for an electrical engineer. Too bad I designed ladies' shoes. Gonna go see the grease monkeys left alive in heat loss monitoring. See what I can shake out of their trees. Blaze people have a strange way of talking. I like all parasites who ever tried to walk in stolen shoes. 
I'd explain the science that renders what you're trying to do impossible, but that would be like playing Mozart for a tree frog. Well, you say tree frogs don't appreciate Mozart, because that's offensive. Yeah. How's it going? What do you think you're doing here? You. I don't appreciate you. How are you still firing at me? There's bees everywhere, yo! Hail Mary full of great goals! You'll find nothing! Rapture is coming back to life. Even now, can't you hear the breath returning to her lungs? The shops reopening, the school humming with the life. thoughts of young minds. My city will live! My city will thrive! <laughs> Even miles when that day comes, we'll use your tombstone for pavement tiles. <laughs> I'm just really curious what would happen. No, that was not entirely unexpected, I suppose. But still, it was worth a shot. Maybe no one ever just tried to do that, you see. That's where they went wrong. But no, that, that didn't work. Alright, so I was still jerk. This door opens, and it leads somewhere, so we're going here first. Because I see a thing, and I want the thing. Frozen field, too. Don't get yourself be frozen. Take much less damage for gold and can freeze. That's probably better than frozen field one. I could probably get rid of photographer's eye at this point, honestly, but... Ah, bleh. My reasoning for not getting rid of it is bleh. That seems like a pretty safe reasoning to... Safe? Where are you see? Oh, the safe is right in my face. That's where it is. I just got an auto hack. Boing. I can't be bothered to hack this thing right now. I got an extra dollar. Yeah. Go me. I'll listen to that in a second. That chair moved when I picked up the thing, and that obviously means something. But I'm not interested in figuring out what it means. I just want to get through this room. I'll uh, listen to that tape once I've done with this room. But until then. We're gonna get one extra dollar from every single corpse in this place. Got an Eve Hypo. That'd be useful if our bees co didn't cost virtually nothing to use. And since bees are very cheap to use, they'll be used frequently. On everything. While loudly proclaiming the word bees. Alright. Can I... It, I can do the weird teleport thing here too. It's, uh, weird. What is the difference between a man and a parasite? Uh. A man builds, a parasite asks, where is my share? A man creates, a parasite says, what will the neighbors think? A man invents, a parasite says, watch out or you might tread on the toes of God. I don't know why I even listen to the audio tapes anymore. They're all just filled with garbage whenever Andrew Ryan starts talking. Alright, that's just too much for this not to be a good idea. I beg your pardon! I prefer if you all died when I used the electricity on your face. That's what I would prefer. And that's what I'd like to see y'all do. I was kind of hoping for a heart, but no such luck. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. That's what we're gonna receive. Hello, Mr. Big Daddy Corpse. I think it's yours just hanging out. Brass tube, wow. Thank you for being dead. Because that was just what the doctor ordered. I don't even care about losing money on this research again things now. I have so much money, I don't even know what to do with it, honestly. Oh, I do know what to do with it, but I'm doing very specific things with it, and it's causing me to continuously have a large quantity of cash. This place looks funky. A lot of fish. The fastest core. How do they build all of those pretty signs outside? I wonder how the building of this place has actually done, honestly. I mean, I imagine the big daddies were... Blah, 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 blah. I imagine Big Dadus and friends were probably a big aid in helping them build this place, considering they don't really seem to care about walking outside too much. But... 
Still wouldn't have minded to see like a little behind the scenes and how this place was actually constructed. That'd be kind of neat, I think. Maybe one day. Maybe in the third or fourteenth DLC for the third game of the seventh series of one, two, three, four. 